Hello and welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Fire Emblem 9, Path of Radiance. As always, I am your host, Agent Elrond, and with me tonight, I'm joined by my good friend and relative... Rafi McMutton Chomper. Hello, and tonight um, we're going to be playing Chapter 8, Despair and Hope. And as a special programming note, we will be bringing this episode to you in the voice of Miranda Lawson from Mass Effect 2. Enjoy! Now, a quick note before we get started, um, I did sort of re-go over this. I redid Mia's level up that I showed you in the last um, video uh, because I wanted her to grow in something other than skill, speed and luck, I think it was. So uh, her stats are a little bit different, you can see them there. And uh, other than that, I did a little bit of shopping um, just to get the necessary items and I've got everyone's supports and the info. And we're all done here, so we're going to end base and move on. Good morning, Ike. Ah, how are things going? Does everything look good? Titania, did you get enough rest? You've got bags under your eyes like anything. Enough as could be expected, given everything that's been going on. But I had some asparagus and now I'm much better. And we've got some business to deal with. First... We need some new recruits. That purple-haired Scottish girl isn't just not going to cut it. Oh, but our audience with King Galia comes first. Any word from the palace? No, nothing yet. According to the Lagoos who brought our food, we should be receiving word sometime soon, but... Ike, I've got bad news. Look out the window. Yes, Sorn, I know, it's raining. No, look, look in the rain. Um, oh. Oh, bloody hell. Exactly. That's not what I think, is it? That's correct. It's another bloody armor knight. Oh, damn. If I'm not imagining things, that's a squad of day and soldiers. Why do they have to show up now? Yes, why now? Can't you see we're busy having a moment? What gives? We're inside Gallia's borders, aren't we? They must be out of their minds to pursue us this far. If, they come, if they've come this far, I'm sure getting out of here alive was never one of their priorities. Ugh. First my dad dies, a mysterious black knight with a weird voice, and kills him, and now I'm going to have a go and have a good cry, and then these are... Oh! Oh. We're in trouble. They have us completely surrounded. We cannot escape. So many of them. So few of us. It doesn't look good, does it? Doesn't matter. I'm pissed off. And we have to fight. Grail mercenaries, ready yourself. My balls just dropped. Yes, sir. I'll begin formulating a strategy immediately. Fine. Ike! But brother! Mist, I want you and Rolf to go back in and hide. But, but Ike! Just do it now! Everything will be fine, but I need you to do this, alright? Uh, alright. Be, be careful. Oh, damn it! Ah! It's happening again! My battalion's glowing! Drop it, Mist! Run! It's radioactive! Get some lead foil or something. Get some lead foil! Yeah, lead foil, definitely. Lead box, lead box. You can borrow Superman's. Did he kept the kryptonite in? Mother, father, if you can hear me, please watch after Ike. Please, will you protect him? I don't know about them, Mist, but I'm here. I'll protect him. I might be a Cerberus tactician, but I'm still a tactician. True facts. Yabal Castle, in the rain. I gotta take a drink. <sighs> Alright everyone, are you ready? Grail mercenaries, move out! I'm pissed! Ike is pissed. I think well, I like the new Ike. <laughs> you think you like the new Ike? Well, we're gonna have some battle preparations and then we'll be right back. Hello everybody, we're back. And we're going to be playing Chapter 8, Despair and Hope. In the rain! We're fighting in the rain, just fighting in the rain. What a glorious feeling. Well, actually, I'm going to uh, go over the map a little bit with you guys first. So this is a eight turns defend this tile here. And we're vulnerable on three fronts. As you can see, this is a little bit... Well, it's actually very bad. Uh, we've got a whole ring of cavaliers down here. And a boss... 
who uh, is very nice and doesn't move until very near the end. So you don't have to fight him if you don't want to. But I want to, because I don't like the look of him. He looks like an asshole. Uh, now, Fire Emblem games, you know, obviously easily, we could just plug these holes and, and bunker down and hold off for eight turns, but Fire Emblem games are never quite that simple. Because if you look over here, this guy has a longbow, which he'll drop if we kill him, so that's a goodie we want to get. Down here, this priest has a red gem that he'll drop, which we want to get, because that red gem uh, should give us just enough money to buy Mia her special custom sword that we want to make her, so we want to get that. And finally, up here, there's this girl. And now, any character with a portrait who's an enemy is usually either a boss or can be recruited. She's a bit weak to be a boss, so I'm betting that uh, we can recruit her. And she's a mage, she's a thunder ma well, she's just a mage, but she specializes in thunder magic. She's got slightly higher weapon rank in thunder magic than the other two. Uh, she's a mage, she's not quite as good as Sorin, um, in all the mage-like stats. Uh, Sorin is, has better magic, more skill, more speed, and more resistance. Now. She's still got good magic and resistance, and she's got actually pretty okay skill. Her downfall is the, the thunder magics are very inaccurate, and she's a little bit slow. She's not terribly slow, but she's a little bit slow. Uh, Ilyana is good, Soren is better. Where Ilyana is better than Soren is she is actually stronger than Soren, and um, possibly a little bit more defensive. It, it depends. They're both... They're both um, very fragile. But Ileana is uh, more likely to get better strength and so she won't be getting uh, as much speed penalties as Soren. And since Soren is faster, they, they average out too bad the same. Basically, if you're only going to use one mage, use whichever one you like better. They're both good. Um, and only use both of them if you really, really like mages. Which I do! So, we're going to uh, want to save her. So, just sitting down here is not going to cut it. Um, this, this guy is under the protection of the boss right now, so we're going to need someone who can run out there and kill him and run away again. For that, we're going to be using the Oscar man. Uh, but Oscar can't exactly run out and take all of these on. For that, we're going to use our new Ark, who has uh, apparently just dropped his ball. So, Ike, they killed your dad. Well, one of them, not necessarily one of them. Just, rah, revenge, yes. Yes. Venting anger. Venting anger. It's good for you. And uh, Oscar, since they now have a sea support there, Oscar's going to sit down here and uh, support him. So Ike now gets a little boost to his avoid. So that's going to be very, very helpful for him. And uh, I'm setting Oscar a couple of spaces back. So uh, that there's a couple of javelin guys. We don't want them to be poking at Oscar because we want them all to be able to get after Ike. So Ike will be able to um, clear them out and uh, basically allow Oscar to run down and get that guy. Now, that takes care of that one. Over here... Nothing fancy. Just throw Boyd at it. Well, technically we're going to have Boyd throw his steel axe at it. Uh. Come on. Come on, little... Uh, that's all you're going to give me? Very good. Now, for these guys over here, that's correct, we're going to be using the Titanic Refrigerator. Not to kill them, necessarily. Just to soften them up enough. For this guy. You're gonna stay there for now. And Mia. Ah, oh, Mia. Mia's very difficult. Mia's quite good. Really, she is. But she's coming at a bit of a bad time. Well, all characters, when they first come, they tend to be a little bit weaker than the rest of your units that you've been training. So you have to train them up, which can be a little tricky, especially when there's all these bloody Armonites! This guy would be perfect to feed to her, but he comes all backed up by swordy guys, and oh, it's a pain. Anyway, um, Reese, you're gonna stay there, because everyone's... yes, that's good. All right, bad guys, it's your turn. You're not very talkative today, Rolfie, are you? You're allowed to interrupt me now. I-I-I'm not gonna- Shh. 
There, 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 there you go. I interrupted you. Are you what, happy now? What, but the, the the day and soldiers, they need a voice, don't they? Don't they? I've supported my javelins. No. Ah. No. no. Yes. Give me something real to do. There we go. What do you think are you doing? Rushing out in front of everybody else? You are a stupid commander. Take this. No, I'm here to kill you. Okay. I'm pissed off. My dad just died and now you're surrounding our castle and trying to kill us. I am peed off right now and my balls just dropped. Did I mention that? The magnesium balls. balls better for me to cut them off. No, they're made of magnesium. You can't cut them off. Ouch. I'm Mr. Jeep to let my balls recuperate. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Ah! That was stupid. Yes, it was very stupid. Why haven't you softened, softened him up for me? You're supposed to pile up on his sword so he can't lift it! Sorry. I'm too cool for you. Ah, the all got killed. Ah. We are the armor knights of death. I don't care. Not my death. My point is made of steel. Ah. Stop that! Get out of the way! I can't reach it from here! I can reach it from here! I have the longbow! Longbow? Fail? I will hit you one of these days, yeah? Not before I hit you. Get them. Oh! I was right in my groin! Fortunately, I have a redundant ball system. But boy, are you part Krogan? Pa I think he's all professional. <laughs> That's right, I'm a professional. There. Ah. You people on YouTube are questioning my professionality. Let me show you this. Yeah! You see, folks, or Miranda, do you want to explain this? Explain what? Why we're using the steel axe instead of the hammer. Oh, yes, well, we're using the steel axe because... No, you explain it. Because... Boy, can it... Oh, nice. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That was... <laughs> that was speed... And... Rolfi is, is my chronicler. He's chronicling the events that of the battle. That was four points, so he grew in strength, speed, luck, and resistance. Yes, he did. Boy, has hopped on the resistance train. Yes, th th I need to double check and need to. Yes, he did grow in resistance. Damn it, Boyd! Damn it, Boyd! Well, all right. You guys down there, we're not afraid of you. You, that's what we want. And this guy's still here. Well, let's see. Let's go. We don't want to get his attention. But anyways, oh yeah, where was I? The reason we're using the steel axe instead of the hammer, it's because... Yes. Get him, Oscar! Boyd, the hammer is too heavy for him to double hit armor knights with it, and it is not strong enough to insta-kill armor knights. Even with the uh, versus armor damage boost, so we're using the steel axe instead because it just puts out more damage. We are closing in on you. Shuts down range, shuts down range. Right, now. We're not... <laughs> don't worry, we're not going to have Titania take on these guys all by herself. She's got Soren. Yes. What is this? Ah! It some... is true, but Uncle Iroh says fire is the best. Ah! <laughs> Uncle Iroh is always right. No, we don't want both the archers to gang up on Soren because they will kill him. So Titania is going to move up 
a little bit more. And Tanya, she got poked a bit. These guys, we do want to keep her um, topped up. So you drink that, Vulnerary. It's a bit overkill. It's only six, but um, it's worth it, I think, since she doesn't have to attack on that turn. Now, let's see over here. This is a little bit difficult. Well, we freed up Ike. Uh, he, Ike doesn't have to stand here to um, to block this area because these guys are so far away they couldn't get up here anyway. Uh, and they'll probably go after Oscar and do not very much damage to him at all, I don't think. No. Uh, so I could have Ike run up and hold this line, but Ike, if, as you might notice, is a bit overleveled. Well, he's a bit higher than everybody else. So we don't really want to use him. Similarly, we also don't really want to... Let's see. We want to get Mia out there so that she can get some fighting in. However... Could you kill him? For me. No, you couldn't. Bugger. And Boyd, what would you do to him? Ah, uh, no. Boyd... Actually, we probably want to heal Boyd this turn. I think... Well, actually, let's, let's, let's do some math here. Her defense is 8. This guy has an 11 damage. 3 points of damage on her. 3 points of damage on her if he hits. This guy has... That would, ten, do, would do 10 damage to her. Do 10 damage. Um, that guy won't hit her. It is a statistical, high statistical improbability that he will hit her. With low biorhythm and a poleaxe against a speedy sword user. And she cannot kill... Unless I'm very much mistaken. No, she's not going to be killing these guys. What's her crit rate? Yes, very, very Statist highly unlikely that she's going to... Um, be killing these guys uh, so she's only going to be taking damage from the archer and one of these guys so we are going to send her right here just sit right next to Boyd and equip that iron sword yes and you're going to sit there Mia and Boyd you're going to top that uh, wait what am I thinking I have a healer I have a healer who can draw fire from the bowman. Or Boyd can just shove. Or he can do that as well. Yes. I was thinking if we draw the bowman in, it might be useful for taking him out on the next turn. Ah. But it's also a pain when my healers get hurt. Yeah. And it is a little unfair to Reese. And Reese is also getting to the point, since he hasn't grown in speed in a while, that we're getting to the point where... Well, eventually we're going to get to the point where they can double him and then he's going to be in real trouble. For now. Oh, I was I thinking of using a vulnerary. I have a healer right here. With a heal staff, no less. Yes. He'll go there. The archer will go there to get after Reese. Boyd. No, you know, no, we're going to uh, be nicer to... Uh, you go back there. And Ike. What shall we do with you, Ike? Ike will actually be going over here to relieve Boyd eventually. I think. Eventually Boyd is going to go up and kill those guys. Over here. And as you can see, I see one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. We don't need to. One, two, three. Yeah. What? Ouch! Ha! We got him with that fun! Now it's my turn! Bring it on! Not so tough without the aid of your commander. No. 
I'm as good as the commander. Well, actually, technically, Titania's not quite as good. My pointy, it is still made of steel. But apparently ineffectual. Ah! Jason. 